Greetings, this is this, and I am me, and let's just all hope and pray that nothing is weird about this recording. Guys, if you watched the Braid episode, one, I'm very, very sorry, and two, um, uh, similar problems could crop up here in this one, I'm not sure. I'm doing my best, though. Like I said in that one, my computer... I had to refresh the whole thing, which meant reinstalling all the programs, which means the settings get changed back to the default settings and everything like that, and so I have to go and change everything again, and sometimes I don't find everything that I needed to change, and then problems ensue. So I'm sorry. Hopefully everything's fine here, though. I had to change the, uh, I had to change some settings here in this game also. Um, hopefully the brightness is still okay and everything. Whatever. Last time we put this fused box... I would put this fuse in this fuse box so that I could listen to Zavitar, the fortune teller man. So let's do that. Is a path that leads to poverty of the soul. Ah, lovely. Okay, but you look really evil. If I do this again, will you give me a different fortune? Oh, yes. That's a good one. That one's green. That one's nice. Should I leave it on a green one? I need a friend. Okay. Well, let's hear everyone else's fortune. Because that didn't... that didn't help me. Is this just for funsies? Do I... I am probably still gonna need to come back up here and do that again. But for now, I want to hear everyone's fortune. Actually, yeah, I think I need to do that kind of like... right now. I think I'm only gonna get the one fuse. And so yeah, using it over at Zavatar is great and all. But I don't think that's helpful. I mean, it might be for him because this is his place. Maybe, maybe it will be helpful for him. But I think I might just be doing this for fun and then I'll take it out. No, no, no. I'll take it back out and use it in that other spot that it needs to be used in. After I take care of the puddle of water that's gonna be bad? I don't know. Let's listen. True love will find you only when you stop searching for Oh, ha, ha, ha. Okay. Now, do you have a bad fortune for me? Oh no! <laughs> yeah, probably. Okay, is that it? Let's, I want. No, can I leave it on? Can I leave it on the green one though? I'm I'm gonna be uneasy if you make me leave it on a red one. Okay. Thanks, dude. You're a real gem. Okay, the twins. Oh, the twins. Which, by the way, they were in the dunking booth. Like they were dunked, and I'm wondering. I think I can. I think that's how I get over that way. I gotta dunk the hillbilly, and then he's gonna swim down below the dunking booth and over to the left, I bet. But we'll try that after. Uh, do I climb this rope? Okay. Ah! It's so creepy, but so cool, their, their animations that they do. They're like, they're unsettling, which I really appreciate. Ah, there's that spin the color wheel thing over there, there's the guess the weight thing. There seems like there's a lot of- I only need five tickets and I already got two, I think. So, maybe you can only do certain things with certain people? But there's enough things for me to at least get enough tickets? I don't know. You are poisoning your future. <laughs> yeah... Probably. What else? No other f no other fortune? Okay, here we go. No, no, no. We, we're just two cute little kitties. We need a good fortune, please. You are poisoning your oh my god. <laughs> Sir, please change your mind. Please. The parent's love is unconditional. Oh, great. I'm so glad that, you know, probably, you know, we're, we're probably killing them. They're probably dead. That's a really great sign. I'm so happy to hear that they're going to love us anyway. Uh oh, Spaghettio. Sorry, twinsies, but uh, apparently you're going to make some people very unhappy very shortly. Oh, there's the sledgehammer. Okay. So, yes, I could do that, but it would end badly for me. You know, I've been here before. And also, I've seen that episode of True Calling where the electrician is standing in the puddle of water and dies, spoiler alert, I suppose, even though I think that might be, like, the main thing that happens in that episode, like, the main death. Which, by the way, guys, if you haven't watched True Calling, you should watch it. Best show. 
wonderful show. Don't understand why it only got one season and then like five or six episodes depending on whether you have the DVD with the special unaired Christmas episode like I do. <laughs> that's the kind of, that's like the worst kind of way for a show to be cancelled is what happened with True Calling. Um, the, the, oh, I have to get past the carnies. How do I get past the carnies? That's how I get the sledgehammer. See, as I don't know how to do that right now, I'll go do in the one. I'll go do the one thing that I do know how to do right now, which is swim in that dunk booth. So I'm gonna need to bring someone else down here too, I suppose. Um. Oh crud! This is not the right way. Bear with me, guys. There's a lot of paths here, and not a lot of um, confidence in myself that I will ever choose the right one the first time. Actually, no, get off the ladder. No, no, don't drop the barbell. Don't drop the barbell. Uh, go down this way, I think. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> oh, yeah. The show got canceled and was left on, like, the biggest cliffhanger in the whole universe. Like, maybe that's kind of a spoil spoiler. So I'll say spoiler alert, but it's not very specific. So basically, the last episode that they leave it off on, the unaired episode um, that, you know, most people don't even see. The last scene... Second, yeah, shh, shh, shh. The last scene, they literally pan around the room that is filled with every single character. Like, every character in the show is sitting in that room and they pan around the whole room and you look at each person and you're like, oh man, like, I can't wait to see what's gonna happen with that storyline or with that thing that's going on. And then it's the next person and you're like, ooh, and what about that? Literally, <laughs> every character has a thing that you're just like, oh my god, cliffhanger, cliffhanger, and it's the last episode ever. It's very unfortunate, very sad, very disappointing. Whoa, blam But that doesn't mean you shouldn't enjoy the part of the show that is there, you know? The part that they have. There's two paths I can go. Ooh, treasure! No, I can't get the treasure? Okay, fine. Well, maybe I can. I didn't try to press any sort of interact buttons. How long can I hold my breath for? This is very scary. I hate underwater in games. Okay, I'm fine. Okay, there's a valve there. Or I can keep going. Tiny Box Tim? Are you sick? <gasps> Ooh, a cave painting. The Neglected Child. So sad. Okay, I'm just making sure I didn't miss any. So we got Ma, and we got Pa. Ma's got the baby. Pa is just tired, I guess, working out in the field all day. Um, or he had too much of whatever's in that bottle. Um, and then we got a big dog. We got a cat. We got a little girl with one sock. Uh, we got some creeper in that window back there. We got some creeper behind the house. Who's that, uncle? And then we got a dumb kid. Yet yeah, I'm the neglected child. It kind of seems like everyone is just sort of interacting, you know singularly by themselves it's not like everyone's having a grand old time together and you're sitting there all alone but okay if you feel neglected then whatever you have a pink teddy bear so you know you've got more than some people but i i feel for you i feel for you and i'm sorry that's a dead end but i'm glad that we got that very glad we did that now this valve will go to something Oh, I didn't bring the wrench with me. Oh my god. And literally the hillbilly started this episode right next to the wrench, yet I didn't bring it. I am a failure. I'll have to go back this way, but... Okay, wait, first. What is this? Can I do anything with this? No. Okay, I didn't think I could, but it looks, you know, it looks different. It looks like it's a standout thing. Um... So I will have to go and redo that, but also I want to check what's over here. Hello! So glad I can hold my breath for all of eternity. Aha! Another thing. For our adventurer. Our crusader. No. Um. Hogging all the fame. Oh no. 
Oh no, that's the that's the Japan Diamond, 1939, and the something Temple, 1937, and then another one from 1936. She's always holding up the the gem, the um, artifact, and there in the background being all like, huh, 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 huh. did I miss any of hers? No, I didn't. So he, well, okay, they all discovered it. And then she's in the picture. Like, guys, just take your own picture with you being in the front. Like, what's the big deal? But I, I feel like this is going to end badly and somehow, like, they're going to murder her or something. You know, usually the person ends up getting themselves killed somehow. But that looks like maybe, maybe uh, someone's going to turn on her. Okay. I need to get the wrench. Let's see if I can find the correct path. <sighs> My first try. I'm pretty sure you go all the way up and up more right here okay jump properly just keep going up and go to the left here and keep going up I don't know how to get past to that sledgehammer ah I failed <laughs> did not get that right no no how about this way? Wablam. This is definitely the right way. I know it, I know it now. Wrench! Buddy! How's it? This doesn't turn off that, right? Oh, it does. Go, 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 go! Put the fuse in! Oh. We just unlocked this thing. This doesn't have a ticket to it, though. Oh! But it moved the carnies out of the way. Okay. Sweet! Sledgehammer, here we come! A oh, whoop whoop! Now I can take that fuse back if I want. Um, hello? Which I kind of... Drop the sledgehammer on this side. I kind of want to do that while I can. Like while the wrench is conveniently located near that thing. Just in case I need to use it again, the fuse, in the Zar, Xavier, Zavatar, whatever, Tavatapi. Um, so take this back. I know, I know, guys, the power will come back on in two seconds, calm down. Now you take the sledgehammer back. Okay. First, I'm going to go do the holding breath thing again, because the sledgehammer... I want the hillbilly to do that also. I want the hillbilly to do as many of the ticket, as much of the ticket getting okay, as possible. No, no, no. You leave me alone. You leave me alone. Oh, great. Wow, so helpful. You know, you're just so kind, sir. I really appreciate it. Wahoo! Wahoo! Why can't I drop off the... Drop! Maybe I was pressing the wrong button. I don't know the buttons in this game very well, in case you haven't been able to tell. Okay, I've got a wrench. Whoa, blammo! Woohoo! Going for a dunk! I'm sorry. Okay, swimming, 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 swimming every day. All these bottles here in the background, I, I keep thinking of Nuka Cola. I'm, I got the Nuka Worlds DLC for Fallout 4 recently. It's the only DLC I've ever gotten for that game. Um, it's wonderful. But anyway, yeah, there's big Nuka Cola bottles everywhere, and they look like that. Okay. Is that going to stay turned off permanently? I think so. So that... That turned off the water, but isn't that a bad thing? I feel like something's gonna get set on fire. Oh, I'm sorry. You weren't holding your breath. Okay. Whew. Um, yeah, because there was a sign up somewhere that was like, fire risk low or something. So that's obviously foreshadowing fire risk about to be real high, right? So I probably shouldn't have turned the water off. But whatever, I, I did. I guess, you know, we'll just see what happens. Um, wrench, probably done with that. Now I need to find those twins. Or I could just have the twins walk down here, but why do that when I can do it the hard, complicated way that's going to make me loop around five times? I 
think they're just right up here. Have never failed me. Step on the platform. Where? No, they're, they're not. They're right up here. No, I think I have to loop around like I said was going to happen. They're near the Ferris wheel, and if I'd gone the other way, it would have been faster. Hello? Twins? Tw Twins? Oh, there they are. Oh, they were still holding it, too. So, like, it would have made sense for me to switch to them and move them because I would have had to drop it anyway. Oh, well. There's the cupcake thing to figure out. There's the guessing your weight thing. There's the color choosing thing. This is not the right way. Is this the right way? Yeah. Okay. And then there's this testing your strength thing. So yeah, I don't think I need to do all of those things. Whoa, blam! Yeah! I'm so strong. No, don't do it again. Drop the hammer. Drop the hammer. Okay, or just pick up the carnival ticket. Whatever. That's what I wanted to do anyway. Here you go. <gasps> Only two more until you're mine. Pink bear. Okay. Yeah. See, I did this. Postcard. Mwah. I didn't forget you. Don't worry. Fire risk is low right now. I hope... Oh, God. I'm probably going to set that lady on fire, aren't I? <gasps> what if I set the teddy bear on fire? I don't want to set the teddy bear on fire. Okay, next, I think has something to do with this wrench, probably. I mean, barbell. Or possibly the twins. I'm not sure. I think it has something to do with the barbell and the guessing your weight, man. Ugly or handsome, I can guess your weight, and I'm never wrong. So I can do this. I can drop this. Your weight is exactly 225. Right again. You lose. Huh. I can pick up the barbell. And drop the... I don't know. Should I try to use the twins for one of these puzzles? They can do that whole ethereal thing. Where they're standing in one place, but they're actually in another place. Would that help for the color one, where I have to... Maybe hit the lever too quickly, or with this one? Maybe I can stand here, and then do this, and then, well, okay, push the- no. <sighs> That's rude, but you know, whatever. Well, blam. But I can't push the button now. My best guess is, right again, you lose. Zero? What? Maybe I should have these guys take the barbell. You can't hide your true weight from me. No. Drop it. Have these guys take the barbell. Are they too weak to carry the barbell? They won't pick it up. Oh, that's interesting. But only if I'm wrong. And I'm they can't pick up the barbell. Oh. Oh. I'm pressing both X and B. So I'm pretty sure they can't pick it up. Um, well then. Vain or humble, you can't hide your true weight from me. I can try. Jump! Press the button and then jump. Hmm. That didn't work. Um, I feel like everything here can be done by the hillbilly because it's his place, right? So how do I do that? And I don't see any grappling hooks anywhere, so I don't see any ways that the adventurer could cheat anything. I might as well just give away tickets. You might as well. You might just as well. Lever. I got it wrong. I feel like this is just going to... Like, I feel like I have to cheat this game in order to win, right? It's never just... It's not chance. And no matter how many times I do it, it's not gonna work, right? 
and the color is... Yeah, see, it continues to go on blue. But now if I put it on blue, it won't go on blue. And the color is red. Okay, yeah. So, what do I do there? I feel like I have to change that while this is going. And the color is... Well, blam! Better luck next time. But I'm on red. I got it right. And the color is... Okay, that one was actually wrong. And the color is... Well, blam! I don't know what to do with any of these people. And I feel like I've gone every way now. There's nowhere else I needed to explore, right? And I've picked up all of the items. Shh. You're mean. Oh, the cupcake man. Okay. Magnifico the Magnificent will now dazzle your mind with the most amazing I can't move. I have to watch his act. I'm paying attention. By the county of Rutherford and the surrounding unincorporated areas. Uh-huh. Now I can move. Aha! I've got an invisible cupcake! Let's go have our weight guest. Vain or humble, you can't hide your true weight from me. I can hide this cupcake. No! You I waited too long. Play, He's gonna get it right. right again. Yeah. Hello. See, um... He's really good at... He's really good at visually being able to tell. So when the cupcake's invisible but I'm still holding it, he won't know I'm holding it so he won't add the weight of the cupcake. But once the magician's magic ran out and he could see the cupcake again, he guessed the weight of the cupcake, you know, as well as my weight and got it right. So I just have to be quicker. I was there, I just... Yes, thank you. I was there, I just didn't um, push the button. Okay. What blam? What blam? Seventy. No! Man, I thought that would work. What happens if I? Oh God, the cupcake is all glitched through the thing now. What happens if I go down here and you don't have your cupcake anymore? You can't do anything. I have to bring the cupcake back. Okay, I really thought that was going to work. And I feel like it's the right... Yeah, I know. I feel like I had the right sentiment. But I just... The execution was off somehow. Thank you. The maybe I should- oh, maybe the cupcake doesn't weigh enough. Oh, the cupcake weighs like zero pounds, basically, you know, even though it's a big cupcake. The barbell, however, weighs a lot. So dude, turn that invisible. Just- just- just turn my barbell invisible. Yes! Haha, -ha, I figured it out. I'm proud of me. I'm proud of me. Wobblam! Wobblam! 75. I always guess right. Uh-uh, not this time. Wobblam! Please leave. Woohoo! Woohoo! I win! Okay. One more ticket for me. No money, no ticket. Now, is the only other thing I have to do the the guessing one, the color guessing one? I think so. So I, my whole theory about oh, there's too many for me to you know I don't need to figure them all out. No, I think I think I do need to figure them all out. I think that's the only one left. Hmm, and I don't know how to do it, but I'm out of time anyway. So I'll try next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye now.